Yes, one who dances with the flowers. How much longer does the program need? It needs proving ground. Okay, so this right here, um, all this, remember, that's the uh, J.B. Hunt Drive Rogers, okay? Um, all that is actually the symbolism of Eric Lynn Wright, okay? Easy E. And uh, what it is, we're looking at Sipura, okay? The island, Sipura. It's an island in the Indian Ocean, and the coordinates are 211S9938E, okay? Now, this Sipura is Kuhet Machla Mahila, okay? Now, if you look at the surf spots of this Sipura, okay, um, you'll, you'll find Mighty Ducks, uh, the team... Um, type symbolism, and actual meanings of things, how Iceland and Greenland have that connection, that quote in Mighty Ducks. Then you've got the pirate, Peg Leg Ezekiel 17. You've got Scarecrow, like Mental Health, or, um, you know, uh, kind, of, kind of like being calm within the chaos, you know, um, when he's looking around or whatever and says the Batman's there. Eric, the Earth symbolism, am Eric A, you know, America. Seven cast out was really a G exile in America, but didn't get raptured. Um, you know, those were those flights that went down in uh, 2014 to 2015 and 2013 even. All those flights that were missing and stuff. That's that G that, that didn't make it in the rapture. Then you have Lance three and nine. Okay. Um, when I was, um, going through a hard time in like, uh, the fall of, uh, September or, um, like the fall of, uh, 2014, um, I was at the health park and like, I saw this girl, Lance's girlfriend was there and like, she saw me with the towels or something like going to the locker room and it was kind of weird. And I, I had seen her at, uh, the grocery store, um, you know, and this guy said that I didn't look like myself or something like, you know, I was just going through like preparing myself for, um, this horseman type, uh, you know, mindset or whatever. So, uh, and I, you know, and a lot of that was, um, mixed emotions on everything. It was all, um, you know, not, not very good. Like, so, uh, and then, um, I, I had hung out with her and this girl, uh, who represents the, um, the Pirates of the Caribbean film. Um, uh, and I had ridden a, uh, the top of a fire truck and I did ask a question. I said, why is, uh, there was like a, um, so a clearing or like in the, in like a forest and, um, I believe I was at my friend Bishop's girlfriend's house and, um, uh, you know, um, and I said, why is it orange? Because it was like hunting, uh, hunting attire or hunting, um, so something was like up in the, like a flag or something was up in the tree, you know, like a, like a marker for hunting. And, uh, I was like, why is it orange? And she said, it's for hunting dumbass or, you know, something like that. And, uh, you know, I just kept on going or whatever, but, um, so that represents the, the Rogers, um, this here, um, you know, the, the hunt or whatever. I did not realize that when I wrote it, when I had that vision before, but now we're connecting it all. Um, so, and you know, I don't, I, I don't hold bad feelings, you know, it, I don't know if it was derogative or not, like, you know, saying that I'm stupid or whatever, like it might've been, if I look into the coding of it, then it's kind of like that, uh, the witch, the cart, you know, the, the Zechariah Vaz, um, you know, which is like the sororities or whatever, but 
Um, there's that symbolism and then like, but what it actually meant when I, when it was said, like, um, you know, <laughs> I don't know. Like I, I just kept on going, but like, if I thought about it, it, it would probably hurt my feelings or whatever, you know, but like, that's the lang that's the language barrier, you know, like I don't, I, of course I just, I just took it for what it was actually meant at the time or whatever. So I don't know, but I could be crazy and it just means what it means, you know? So, um, whatever, but no, no bad feelings, no, no hard feelings or anything, but that's symbolism of, uh, of this stuff. So, but it's, um, but the bell means that you cut off in the information that you only have some of the information. So now we just put the pieces together. This is the Eric Lynn Wright Easy E symbolism. J Easy E bell, like cleck, cut off in the information, you know. And um I haven't watched his newer stuff. It may be different now, but that is what he represented. It may be different now because we're getting ready for the end times. So everyone is, you know, repenting or getting ready, you know, um, and, uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not, you know, banging the Bible saying, repent, repent. I'm not, I'm not doing that at all. I don't, I haven't repented. So, um, but like, I, I believe in Jesus by grace and mercy, you know, I don't like him, you know, I'm not, I'm not some like, uh, I don't know. Maybe I, maybe I should, you know, but, uh, so thank you. Um, not saying anything against anyone. Uh, keep a mercy mindset. This is all just symbolism. Okay. I just show the symbolism. That's all, that's all that it means, you know, in the, the three and nine, um, you know, uh, so th that's all. Thank you.